Well, it's only the 20th dumpster that's come out of that hose. Honestly, no joke. We started a game. We're keeping count now. Oh yeah. Awesome. Two, this has been about 20 friggin' uh, 20 yard dumpsters come out of that hose now. Holy. But anyway, look what I got. I got me some stoves and some refrigerators and some sinks and some more air conditioners. All burnt, as you can tell there. Awesome. Look at that hunk of copper down there. Ooh, look at that. Some brass, some copper. That's always good. Old garbage disposal right there. Might pop that guy off. It might be a keeper. Fairly new, because, uh, remember the guy replaced it about a month back. Oh, yeah. The best part is they still work, too. Freaking right. Anyway, let's go into the shop. Tractor up. All right. So, today is... Wow, I'm really throwing off. Today is Wednesday. Holy. Where's the week gone? Oh, yeah, that's right. Holidays. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I had to pick up some of that scrap this morning. Uh, they're still gutting out the inside of the house that burnt next door to me. Holy. Uh, I got a video of it inside of the house today. If I can put it up, I'll put it up uh, right after this little clip it here. Uh, it's on my on my phone here, so I don't know if I'm... I don't really know how to do that, so I might have to upload it to YouTube, then pull it out of the friggin' son of a bitch there, and I don't know. I don't know. See, it's in the, uh, in the videos there. But, uh, you know, if it plays, it plays. If not... I guess I'll have to do a separate upload video, but yeah, they got the house pretty damn near. Well, the downstairs is pretty much damn near all gutted. Uh, they're making their way to the upstairs. I'd imagine probably later tomorrow, or maybe tomorrow morning, maybe, and they'll start gutting that out. So that's pretty cool. Um, they said that they're gonna save me all the copper wire, which is pretty kick-ass. So I'll have to wait and see how well that goes over. But. Uh, yeah, what a just unbelievable for the little amount of fire that happened in that house. They end up uh, pretty much almost claiming that the whole house is totaled. Um, so they're pretty much starting from fresh. All the sheetrock, all the insulation, all the plumbing, all electrical, floor, you name it, it's going into that house. Um, so it'll be a really nice house once it's done, but no matter what you do, you still got to smell that smell. So, yeah, but uh, I got all that scrap metal for free, so that's awesome. And I also got me a new fire extinguisher. I guess the, uh, I guess they didn't know how to use it or they would have prevented a fire in their house. I don't know. I grabbed two of them, one for in the house and one for down here. Because last one I already used up. If you recall, over the summer, we had a little bit of a incident, as we will say. But, um, son of a bitch. Hooked. But, uh, I want to thank. Uh, a YouTuber, he told me this the other day. I honestly, God, I didn't believe him. Oh yeah, that refrigerator, friggin' has some nasty ass juice in it. These gloves, I gotta put them in the wash. They reek, nasty. But I want to thank a YouTuber for telling me this. I've never even seen this or even heard of this. Um, it goes by the name of CD Tank One, and uh, he's got an Iron Cap Saber Cat. I think he has like a newer one. Uh, maybe like a. 05, 06, possibly 07. I don't think they got an 07. Yeah, I think 07. So he was telling me, he goes, you know, you didn't have to mount that friggin' uh, belt clip there for no reason. There's actually a belt clip cover in here. I'm like, what the hell? Where, where in the world is there another belt clip cover thing on here? And he says, oh, well, it's with the tools and the spark plugs. I'm like, what the hell is this kid talking about? He says it's underneath the seats. I'm like, All right, I know this for a fact. There's nothing in this little box here. It's like, all right, and then pull this off. I've already had this thing off a million times, so I already know what it looks like when he's there. I'm like, what the hell? And then he mentions these tabs. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, what the hell? And then I'm like, oh, there's one, and there's one over there, and sure enough, you, if you, if you uh, pull out the pins that are in there, or push them, I think I had to push mine in, uh, you just lift up your seat here, and, uh, you know, just tip her on up and over, and uh, sure enough, there's another belt in there that's practically brand new, never even used. Two spark plugs, I put those in. They had these spark plugs in there, but they were a little used. I figured, eh, I'll throw some new ones in. So I got two new spark plugs in there, a fairly new belt, that damn say, that's probably never been used. And then I was like, oh, 
There's a bonus. I got a goodie bag. Tool bag. That's pretty cool. I never even seen this stuff before. It's like it's like a whole other dimension now. Oh, I can't get it open with just one hand here, but hold on. Oh, son of a bitch. Here it is. Kind of sort of rusty. But as you can see, it's got a bunch of tools and stuff in there. You get the spark plug wrench. Bigger wrench for the track. You know, then you get some screwdriver sets and, you know, all the wrenches. Pretty much a wholly, completely disassembled a, uh, a, sna a saber cat. So that's pretty cool. I'm not really sure what this is for. So if you know what this is, let me know. But I don't know, that's, that was pretty cool. I'm like, no shit, huh? And uh, Scott, GPL87 there, holy. Uh, bud, your, your battery, battery right there didn't work there. I threw some water in here and, uh, well, let's crank her over. Dead. Yeah, I think the element's probably gone on the inside of it or something like that. Probably just a defective battery, if that. So I gotta go to Interstate Battery maybe this week or next week and uh, get her all fixed up together here. Uh, possibly. I really would like to, hoping, crossing the fingers, uh, another area where we usually go snowmobiling up in Candy, New Hampshire. Uh, they're going to get snow this weekend, or actually they're getting snow tonight. They're getting uh, six to nine inches tonight, so that'd be pretty cool. It'd be really cool if we can go, but I highly doubt we'll go. Highly doubt it. But, oh, look at that. So, anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. So, I'm going to be a whole lot of videos today. Uh, i got to bring some of my stuff, my Christmas presents down. i got some new tools and whatnot today. Or not today, yesterday. So, yeah, what uh, would you guys all get? Drop a comment below on what you guys got for tools and what get, whatnots, gadgets, iPhones, iPads, cameras. So, a lot of you guys got some new cameras over the winter or holiday Christmas week, I guess. I don't know. I got a Keurig. I got a new Keurig. That was pretty cool. I got a Keurig of light series. Moving up in the world. So I can have my tea just right. And uh, got a couple of tools here and there. I'm going to bring them down later on. I got this a couple of cobalt stuff. And cool stuff like that. So oh yeah, my aunt's going to buy me a, uh, a GoPro screen there for my GoPro. A little, little LCD screen there. That goes over the GoPro. So that's pretty cool. I'll grab one of those from her. She uh, she bought me one. She bought me another one of these towers, but I really don't need it. I already have two of them, so she's gonna grab me a GoPro screen, I guess. So that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, I'm gonna reassemble my snowmobile again, maybe clean her up. Get off some of this rustiness. And... Oh, I bet you that's why all this rusty mark was here before. Ah, see, that's that's the reason. Yep. Uh huh. Now I know. Oh yeah. Alright, holy, it's, wow, holy, 441, that'd be a little bit uh, earlier than that, that means I've been outside for the past 41 minutes now, Woo! yeah, just got done cleaning up outside, they're getting ready for the storm, moving a bunch of this and that around, had to dig it with the shovels, that wasn't fun, I'm kind of sort of missing one shovel, unless it's in here, which I haven't seen here. Yeah, I'm missing a shovel. It's a little bitch, my good one too. But yeah, so I guess we're kind of, sort of expecting some snow here, and it's pretty damn freaking cold out. Let's check the weather real quick. How cold is it out? I like doing that. All right, let's see. 32 degrees is cold by my standards. I can't say whether people in Watertown find it so. Yeah, bullshit. It's fuck you cold out. I don't know what the hell this bitch is talking about. But, uh, yeah, it's cold enough to where I could snow out. That's for damn sure. I'm just checking the good weather report here in NOAA. Let's see. Yeah, overnight rain, snow. I bet you it's gonna snow. I don't think it'll rain. Less than one inch possible. About three quarters, so. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Ooh, Saturday's gonna snow. Ooh, look at that. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, shit, yeah. 
30%, 50%, 40%. That's some good percentages right there, I'll tell you that much. And Sunday night are pretty cool. Snowmobiling on New Year's Eve. That's what we're hoping to do. That's that's kind of sort of what we're hoping to do. So yeah, uh, tomorrow I got to go to the scrap area. As you can tell, empty at the back of my truck bed. Uh, then when I come back, I think we're gonna uh, maybe move the trailer. No, I'm not sure. It all depends on what it's like out tomorrow. Um, but hey, I got all my sleds ready, except for ooh shit. It's a good thing I just thought of that. So tomorrow I will have to probably, uh, if we do go snowmobiling this coming week or weekend, uh, I still gotta put the chain case gasket in the Zier 700 there. It's a good thing I just thought of that. Um, so yeah, hopefully. That'd be pretty cool if we went up. Oh, but I got a whole mess of stuff to ship out. Like, oh shit, I just saw nothing I had to grab too. I sold a couple of stuff this weekend, believe it or not. I uh, sold this gearbox. This went for 130 bucks. Yeah, this is a Noma Craftsman Brute type deal. Agway, again, the one we just chopped up the other day. Uh, this came out of this silver tractor. Six speed trans. This is went for, uh, once I'm done shipping it, it'll be about 65, 70 bucks in my pocket. So that's pretty kick ass. And I gotta grab a motor that's sitting. Either in the tent or in the garage, which I just, I think I moved it right into, I mean, not the garage, the, the shed there. Uh, I think I grabbed a motor and that sold for 180 uh, 180 and buyer paid shipping on that, so that's not too bad. So, sold a couple of good stuff this weekend, I was pretty surprised. Um, so, that's what we got going on. I'm going to actually grab that motor right now. So, yeah, but I figured what I was going to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys something. I don't really remember what it was. Yeah, and I honestly don't remember what it was. But, anyway, I'm gonna grab that motor. I'll start boxing some stuff. I don't even know where this video is going. But, uh, you know what? I think we're just gonna end the video here, guys. There's no sense on doing another clip it. I mean, it's just a motor. You guys all seen it before. Um, so, yeah, pretty much the plans for the week. Uh, get the trailer over my uncle's house, check the brakes on it. Um, Got the four, oh, that's what I was going to tell you guys. Finally get the 4x4 four four working in my truck. I finally froze the uh, the shifter today. I was really excited. After once I was done there, fixing, uh, doing the scrap run there, I uh, went underneath the truck with a little bit of a little more liquid wrench there, and sure enough, I got it freed up. Uh, I got all of 4x4 four four low work. It's like a 4x4 four four high worker, 4x4 four four medium working. Uh, I didn't get 4x4, four four. oh wait. No, I did get them all working because, yeah, shit, shit. yeah, I did get them all working actually, I wasn't even thinking. Um, so it's pretty good, I unfroze that little shifter. I don't have the, uh, the push button type deal on the dash to engage the floor before my truck. I have the shifter right on the floor and uh, got it freed up today, so I was pretty excited. So, but, so a lot of stuff needs to get done, holy, but anyway, hopefully this week, uh, what else this week? I got tired of holding the camera, guys. Sorry. Um, either Friday, I'm gonna go up to a certain place, get some uh, power equipment. Uh, I might get some chainsaws this time. Not gonna really get. Probably pick up maybe one or two snow blowers, but I'm most likely gonna get chainsaws. Uh, I don't know if PJ's coming up with me. He might get something and uh, stuff like that. So. Ooh. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Until then. Uh, I don't know. Till then, go find some scrap metal, cash it in. Hell yeah. Pretty right to move. Oh yeah. Well, my day even got even better. Not because my 4x4 working. It's because I get to get it, go down to Interstate Batteries tomorrow and uh, get my battery swapped out. Score! Of that kind, free stuff. Oh yeah, that's where I'm going tomorrow. I guess it's under. Ooh. Jeez, almost just dropped the freaking camera. Did you guys see that? Holy. Uh, so yeah, I actually just called him up to find out what the deal is with that battery. Sure enough, still under warranty. He's got a six month on it, and I called it the five month. Woo! So I guess I'm going down tomorrow to go get me a new interstate battery. Yeehaw. Awesome. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.